Yo, what's up, everybody? I want to talk about being successful. And yes, you see that right there? That's Eddie Van Halen in the corner. You want to talk about a success story? Look at Eddie Van Halen, not even from this country. Comes to the country and becomes the greatest guitar player in the world. What a success story. Eddie Van Halen's perfect example, as a matter of fact, of what I'm going to talk about. Becoming a success. You know, when you go to school, we're all taught the same thing. When you're in school, you are taught that you need to study, go through all the different grades, you'll become a senior, you will graduate, you then need to progress into more school. You're just taught to continue to go to school because the highest level of your success really depends on that education that you get in school. Isn't that something? That's what you're taught. That's what you're made to believe. And that's what the majority of people do. You know what I'm saying? They might look at a doctor. That's the highest level of success. Or they're going to look at a lawyer. That's the highest level of success. They don't think that on the other side of what you're being taught, outside the box of what school is telling you that you don't have to do that. There's other ways to be ultra successful. You're not taught to take a risk and open your own business, start a business. You're not taught that in school because it's too risky. They don't want to teach risk and reward. They want to teach school. They want to teach something that they're going to return a profit on. School makes money. Don't forget that. School makes money. Entrepreneur, entrepreneurs dropping out of school don't make them no money. Remember that. So the longer you stay in school, the more money you're either going to make for the state, you're going to make for the education system, which I agree, every one of you needs a high school diploma. You're going nowhere without a high school diploma. But college college is highly questionable. Eddie Van Halen didn't go to college. All right? Eddie Van Halen died one of the most famous people in the world because he thought outside the box. He did what his mind told him to do, not what other people told him to do. You know, people look at me. This is what's funny. And they look at my long hair, my earrings, the way I dress, my physique, just the way I present myself, very rough. And, and they'll say, man, yeah, good luck. Where does that dude work? Who's going to hire that guy? You know what I'm saying? He does not fit in whatsoever. Who would hire him? What they don't realize is I actually give people jobs. I'm on the other side of that. They think they're higher than me because they might have a job. Yet I'm employing people. I actually am able to allow people to live a certain life because of what I've done in my life, because of the risks that I took. I decided I wanted to just take risks and not do what I was being told in school. Not freaking go completely through like 10 years, get a degree. I didn't want to do that, you know? So there is something on the other side called entrepreneur. You can be an entrepreneur. You can open your own business. You can take these risks. You can become way more successful, way more successful than if you did follow through with more education and you went to college. I talked to a kid yesterday that told me he's still paying off college debt that has absolutely nothing to do with what he does for a living right now. I want you to think about that for a second. This kid is stuck in $90,000 worth of college debt that has nothing to do with what he's doing for a living. It was a complete waste. And he's trying to figure out how he can manipulate his money to invest in Dogecoin and cryptocurrency because now he's realizing he made some big mistakes. So I'm here to tell all of you right now, what, whatever it is that you're doing, that path that you're on in life, that your gut is telling you you're doing the right thing, you're on the right path, this is what people are telling you to do, but this is what your gut says to do. Your gut says you're driven enough to succeed as an entrepreneur. 
Your gut says that, hey, you're a guitar player, man. You know, make money in music somehow. You weren't taught that in school to become a guitar player in a band and write music and make money. I wasn't taught to open a gym. I wasn't taught to be a bodybuilder in school and say, hey, man, someday you're going to make a damn fortune in the fitness industry. I wasn't taught that. Okay, you're not going to be taught that. That is something that your inner voice is going to tell you. And if you don't act upon it, you will never know what you truly could have become in life. All right. My message today is if you have the work ethic, the ambition, the drive and the motivation, and you have an inner voice inside of you telling you that there's more out there, that there is more out there that you should be in charge of your own destination. You should be an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a person that forges their own path in life with whatever businesses they decide to open, take on for themselves. That is an entrepreneur. That is a person that does it all on their own. They don't punch a clock. They don't receive a paycheck. An entrepreneur takes all the risk themselves. They wake up every morning. Nobody tells them what time they got to wake up. Nobody tells them what time they got to go to work. Nobody tells them where they need to be. They're an entrepreneur. They set their entire life pattern. It is not easy. You cannot just wake up one day and say, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. It's not easy. It's only, it really is only cut out for people that are truly designed to be entrepreneurs and business minds, business people, the mindset. You have got to be a go-getter. But a lot of people are gonna connect with what I'm saying right now. A lot of people are gonna say, dude, that is me. Like, I don't wanna work for nobody. I have this inner fire that's telling me I'm wasting my life, I'm wasting my time punching this clock. There's more out there. I have this ambition, I have this drive. I'm, I'm, I work harder than anybody that I work with. I'm the top person in my field, but I'm still working for somebody and I know I could do it on my own. I know I could open my own business. Why do I have to work for somebody when I'm better than the people I work for? That means you are designed to be an entrepreneur. You are designed to get out there and do it on your own. You don't need nobody, okay? Now, if you connect with what I just said, start putting everything in place to make it happen. Just like I did. I had the inner voice. I knew I wasn't designed to work for people. I was designed, I was put on this earth to forge my own path. I didn't want people pulling my strings in life because I knew I could do better than the people that wanted to pull my strings. I knew I could do better, so I acted upon it. And I said, you know what, I'm not gonna let myself down. I am so confident that this is the right path that I need to be on. I refuse to let myself down. I refuse to fail. You gotta have that mindset that you absolutely refuse to fail, no matter what. Let me tell you something, when I moved from New York to Alabama, everybody was like, oh, he'll be back. You know, I grew up in New York, 25 years old. I decided I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm moving to Alabama. I had no money. I had a small Corvette. I shoved everything I had in the back of that Corvette and I just drove to Alabama. And everybody was like, oh, he'll be back. He's going to fall flat on his face. He's going to fail. He ain't even going to make it six months. Yeah, you'll be seeing old Teddy boy back here real soon. But in my mind, I knew everybody thought I was going to fail. In my mind, I knew they were celebrating the fact that I'd be back. They're celebrating it. So let me tell you something. I'm so headstrong that when I got to Alabama, everything that was put in my place that should have caused me to fail, oh yeah. Many roadblocks hit me like a ton of bricks. I should have failed. But my mindset was everybody wants me to fail. Everybody wants me to come crawling back. So I refuse. I will never go back. I will never allow myself to fail. I will not fail. And by having that mindset, all it did was make me stronger. Every obstacle that I conquered, everything that was thrown at me, every negative factor that should have put me down, I conquered and I rose 
and I became better, and I became stronger, and I became richer, and I became more successful. Then everybody started seeing me like, whoa, what in the world is going on with Teddy? How did he do it? He didn't even know anybody in Alabama. He couldn't get a job in Alabama. How did this dude become so successful in an area he knew nothing about? He had no connections. How the heck did he do it? I did it because I absolutely refused to fail. That's how I did it. That is the secret to life. That is the secret to success. That is the secret to your marriage, your relationship, your family, your kids. Refuse to fail. Have that mentality that you absolutely are not going to turn back. You will not turn back into failure. You are only moving forward. And success is the only way to finish your story. Remember that. Put that phrase in your head. Success is the only way that your story is going to end. Refuse to fail. Now get out there, whatever you have that is your passion, that you know you can turn into a success, and do it. Do it. That's it. That's all. Do it. Do not allow yourself to fail. All right, everybody. I'm out. One more shot of Eddie Van Halen. The legend. He refused to fail, people. Eddie freaking Van Halen refused to fail. What an example.